All right, so another example here where we're going to find the equation of an ellipse, assuming it's centered at the origin. And in this case, the ellipse will have x-intercepts at positive and negative 12. Um, and the foci will be located at 0, 5 and 0, negative 5. All right, so again, uh, I'm going to make a little sketch just to, just to help me. Again, very, very rough because, again, the point's not to really sketch it, but to come up with the equation. Okay, so I know the x-intercepts are at positive 12 and negative 12, so I don't know, I'm just going to stick those somewhere at random. So there's negative 12 and also at positive 12. The foci, okay, are going to be located at 0, 5 and 0, negative 5. So there's a foci. Again, that's not a point on the graph at all. Okay, so again, I think I've talked about it. Sometimes I used to put little X's or just some kind of indication that, hey, that's not a point. But again, a lot of people use points. There's no problem. Okay, so one thing that's important is the foci are always located along the major axis. Okay, so, and again, I always think about the major axis as being, well, sort of the, uh, you know, the, the longer axis, right? That's why we call it the major. So I know it's going to kind of be... Uh, it's going to be taller than it is wide in this case because, again, the foci tell me that. Okay, so I know my ellipse is going to go up to some point, and then it's going to come back down, and it's going to do the same thing down here, etc. Um, our point, you know, we still have to figure out the equation, but again, that's the idea. Um, so a couple things here. Again, um, since I know it, it, the major axis is vertical, it's going to be of the form y squared over a squared plus x squared over b squared equals 1. Again, where a is greater than b. Now, we talked about how to find the b value again. It's just the, the distance from the origin to one of our covertices. So in this case, our b value is going to equal positive 12. So we can already go ahead and fill that in. So we've got y squared over a squared plus x squared over 12 squared equals 1. Okay, so the only value we're really missing here is the value a. But a couple things. Uh, we, 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 we have our foci, and we can use that information. Okay, so if we look at the distance from where it's centered, again, which is uh, at the origin, if we look at the distance to one of the foci, that's going to be our value c. So in this case, our c value is going to be 5. And the relationship that's going to help us figure out what a equals, for our ellipses, we know that c squared equals a squared minus b squared. Okay, so now I'm going to do a little bit of arithmetic. So our c value we said is 5. That comes from the foci. And again, I always kind of remembered that because there's a C in foci. So uh, the C has to do with the distance to the foci. Okay, A squared, hey, we don't know it. That's fine. We'll figure it out. B squared, okay, so again, B is 12, so we'll have to square that. And then what we're going to do is simply solve for A squared. I'm not even going to, you know, solve for A. I'm just going to plug in what A squared equals. So let's see, 5 squared... That's going to be 25. Let's see, notice, uh, well, I guess let's go ahead and write it all out. So this is going to be 12 squared is going to be 144. So we have 25 equals a squared minus 144. We can add 144 to both sides. That will give us 169 equals a squared. And again, I'm not even going to bother to solve for a because I'm just going to replace our a squared with 169. So it says the equation of our ellipse will be y squared over 169 plus x squared over 12 squared, which is 144, equals positive 1. And now we have the equation of our ellipse.